Hello everyone and welcome to another Top 5 Records video. We're nearing the end of 2023 and what an incredible year in music it has been. But what are the 5 best albums from 2023? Well, I've been listening to loads of records and this is my list. On the number 5, I'm gonna put... For me, the smash hit of this year, Summer. Something to give each other. Now, of course, this record was released in, I believe, September or October. But, Rush, the main track, was released this summer. And what a smash album. The entirety of this record is Troy Sivan at his best. I think it's even better than In Bloom. I love that album. But this one, the appeal, the... Uh, the party element, the the light loving vibe, and there's of course an incredible amount of hormones going around here. I love the artwork. I love the entire way he represents this. Let's say it's a fantasy because I don't think his, his life is all. It's uh, it can't be the way he's <laughs> he's visualizing it. Um, but there is a sheer energy, a sheer drive. There are so there are great songs. I think Rush is the best song. No, 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 no not Rush. One of your girls. One of your girls is brilliant. And 2023 was obviously the year for Troy Sivan. Or as the Saturday Night Live sketch uh, said, uh, there was a Saturday Night Live sketch about a woman who had a dream demon. And in this Saturday Night Live sketch, the dream demon is played by Timothy Chalamet. And he does... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a version of a dance by uh, Troy Sivan, which he did for this a video of this album. And um, the th therapist of the woman said, um, you cannot dream about Troy Sivan because he's, he's not famous, he's gay famous. That's something different. But this was the year when Troy Sivan broke from gay famous to international famous. So on the number five spot, Troy Sivan's Something to Give Each Other. Then we're going to the number four, and this is an obscure album. I've heard way too little about it. I did do a video on it, uh, also on uh, Something to Give Each Other, so you watch the links below for the single videos about it. But here I'm going to give this one to Fizz, The Secret to Life. Now, I don't think a lot of people have heard about this album, and um, to be quite frank, the review I did of, it, uh, of this album is one of the least viewed videos I made. I gotta be able to say that. But... Everyone, you're missing out on something beautiful. This is a super group. This is a brilliant super group. And I can understand if you're a bit reluctant to try out new pop music. I understand that. I understand. But this is a beautiful way to step into a world of pop that is just dynamic, beautiful songwriting. Not too intense. Not just to dance. It is a diverse, beautiful, gorgeous album. The Secret to Life by Fizz on number four. I love this album. Number three. Mm. Big guns here. I got big guns. <laughs> Did you know there's an ocean under... It's, yeah. Uh, no? Did you know there's a tunnel under Ocean Boulevard? Um, <laughs> Lana Del Rey. This, this album is... Brilliant. I mean, Lena Del Rey is one of the most interesting artists on th at this moment in time. I I, I truly believe that. Um, among others, like like Taylor Swift, but I, I did not include Taylor Swift 1989 in here. I think it's uh, it adds too little to the original album to be included in the list. Um, yet Lana Del Rey just keeps on creating great songs, great albums, great concept pieces, and also, just as what I said with the uh, Troy Sivan uh, thing here, at this moment in time, albums are getting much more and more interesting because there are concepts going on here. I mean, the visual element and the, the, the pictures and the way the record and the artwork and even the, the color of the vinyl mm -hmm. tell a story. Um, that's something very interesting that is going on. And... Of course, it's not the first time in, 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 in history. This was also the case when the Beatles uh, were around. In the 70s, it, it, it was obviously going on. But right now, vinyl is popular. And these albums are exciting on vinyl. There's something going on. This album is magical, mystical. And if you want me to 
if you want to know more about my experience, just watch below. I got a link to the album review just under the video. So on the number three, did you know there's a tunnel <laughs> under Ocean Boulevard by Lana Del Rey? Beautiful album. Number two. Number two album of 2023. This one. Ray. My 21st century blues. I was blown away by this album. Ray is one of the great, brilliant songwriters at this moment in time. She is just nailing it. Her vibe is so incredible. She, it's, it's danceable, it's accessible, it's really, really this got me by the balls and it didn't let me go. If you're in doubt, if you want to start this one, try her rendition of The Thrill Is Gone on this album. Just go to Spotify or YouTube and try The Thrill Is Gone. Be amazed and be prepared to buy this on vinyl because it's a smasher of an album. I love it. Number one, not number one, number two, Ray, my 21st century blues. But before I'm going to the number one spot, I'm gonna do some honorable mentions. That Feels Good by Jesse Ware. This is danceable, danceable, danceable. It's a very good, nice, outspoken album. I love it. Volcano, Jungle. This is, again, talking about the danceability of these albums, this one was completely filmed. There, all these songs have video clips with very good uh, dance choreographies. This is just Smashing, love it. Levy, Bewitched, uh, sc uh, not Scandinavian, Icelandic uh, jazz vocalist. Um, if you're into jazz vocals, you'll love Lovey. You'll love Bewitched. Did a video on this album alone, so you can see it below. And the list continues. Yeah, The Age of Pleasure um, by Janelle Monet. I, I, I find it hard to pronounce because there is a uh, a stripe above the A. Um, I mean, nailing it. Great, great album. And this one, of course, can't leave Olivia Dean out there with the signature. Uh, Messy by Olivia Dean. Awesome album. This one's good. All honorable mentions. Oh, there are also some honorable mentions of records I, I did not buy this year. Somehow, uh, for example, uh, Before and After by Neil Young. I did a video about the, that album. Interesting, good album. Final hasn't been released yet. There's also a beautiful album by John Kill Mercy. He opened the year with a, a reinvention of himself. I saw him perform that album live in Paradiso. At least he did almost all the tracks. That man reinvented himself at the age of 70, 87 or something like that. Brilliant, brilliant album. So many great albums this year. But what is the best? I'll tell you what I think is the best. I'll tell you. My number one album of 2023 is Hackney Diamonds by the Rolling Stones. This one is just perfect. Just perfect. I've been listening to it all the time. I've been listening to it last night. I think all the songs are great. They re reinventing themselves is perhaps not the right word. They reencounter themselves. They reencounter the old energy, the freshness. You hear it in a live edition that when they play these songs, they are alive. I think this is the best Rolling Stones album since Exile on Main Street. Oh yeah. I think it's even better black and blue i think it's even better than some girls this is the rolling stones during one of their heights what an album i'll remember the year with this one in my head so what do you think do you agree do you disagree what are your favorite albums of 2023 leave a 2023 uh leave a comment below and i'll see you in my next video bye